na imbag nga aldaw, Engineers of the Future. Welcome to your online class in Engineering Utilities 2. I am your instructor, Daryl J. Ambalbeen. In this video, I will discuss another type of pressure difference, which is pressure losses from friction, or simply friction head. In computing for friction head, we will be using what we call pressure drop charts. Let's have an example. Determine the pressure drop across a 1 inch diameter type L copper pipe that is 20 feet long and is carrying water at 20 gallons per minute. In this problem, we will be using figure 13.6, which is a pressure drop chart for smooth pipe or copper tubing. Just a little background, on the left side of the chart, we have flow rate in gallons per minute. On the right side of the chart, we have flow rate in liters per second. On the bottom part of the chart, we have friction loss in PSI per 100 feet length. And this diagonal lines slanting downward from right to left are the diameters. And for type L, it is represented by the solid diagonal lines. So to get the friction loss of the problem, we need first to get the intersection or locate the intersection of the flow rate, flow rate in gallons per minute and the diameter. So we have 20 GPM. So this is 20 GPM. And the one inch diameter is this diagonal line. So this is the intersection of the two. Approximately here. And we project that with the friction loss at the bottom. So if we project that, that is about 10 PSI per 100 feet length. From figure 13.6, a 20 GPM, a 1 inch diameter type L copper pipe has a pressure drop of about 10 PSI per 100 feet. Thus, to compute for the pressure drop of the problem, we we'll simply multiply 10 PSI per 100 feet with the length of the pipe, which is 20 feet, so that this unit will be cancelled. Calculating, that is equal to 2 PSI loss, or negative 2 PSI, which is now the pressure drop. Second example, determine the velocity of water flowing in a 1-inch diameter type L copper pipe carrying water at 20 gallons per minute. This problem is similar with the previous one, except that here we're looking for velocity, whereas in the previous one, we're looking for pressure drop. But still, we're going to use the same pressure drop chart, which is figure 13.6. Velocity in the pressure drop chart is represented by diagonal lines slanting downward from left to right. So to get the velocity, as we've done in the previous problem, we need to locate the intersection of the flow rate in GPM and diameter. So this is 20 gallons per minute, and this is 1 inch diameter type L. So this is their intersection. And we project this intersection with the diagonal lines slanting downward from left to right. So if we project that, this will be the diagonal line. And 
this is between 6 and 8. So we need to approximate the velocity. So say it is about 7.8 feet per second. So from figure 13.6 at 20 GPM and for 1 inch diameter type L copper pipe, the velocity is about 7.8 feet per second. Third example. Determine the pressure drop across a 4 inch diameter type K copper pipe that is 236.5 feet long and is carrying water at 400 gallons per minute. We're still going to use the same pressure drop chart, figure 13.6. Type K copper pipe is represented by diagonal dash lines with small dash lines in between. Same procedure as the previous problems. We need to locate the intersection of the flow rate in gallons per minute and diameter. So this is 400 GPM. And this is 4 inch diameter type K. Notice that here there is no more distinction between types K, L, and M pipes because we only have solid line. So we consider this also as type K in this case. So this is there intersection. Next, we project that with the friction loss friction loss at the bottom. So if we project that, that is about 3.5 psi per 100 feet. From figure 13.6, at 400 gpm, a 4 inch pipe has a pressure drop of about 3.5 PSI per 100 feet. Thus, to compute for the pressure drop, we simply multiply 3.5 PSI per 100 feet times the length of the pipe, which is 236.5 feet. Again, this unit will be cancelled. Calculating that is equal to 8.28 PSI loss or negative 8.28 PSI which is the pressure drop. Fourth example, determine the velocity of water flowing in a 4-inch diameter type K copper pipe carrying water at 400 gallons per minute. Again, similar with the previous problem. Only this time, we're looking for velocity. Still, we're using the same pressure drop chart, figure 13.6. First, we need to locate the intersection of 400 GPM and 4 inch diameter type K. This is their intersection. And if we project that with the diagonal line slanting downward from left to right, we can see that the velocity is about, or exactly, 10 feet per second. From figure 13.6, at 400 GPM and for 4 inch diameter pipe K copper pipe, the velocity is about 10 feet per second. Fifth example. For part A, determine the equivalent length for friction loss of 6 90 degree elbows. 3 straight run tees, all brought, and 2 gate valves for 1 inch diameter copper pipe. To solve for part A, we need this table, which is the equivalent length in feet of tubing for friction loss in valves and fittings. We have 6 90 degree elbows. For 90 degree elbow rot, 
and 1 inch diameter, the equivalent length is 1 feet. We multiply that by 6, we have 6 feet. Next, 3 T's straight run. For T straight run cast and 1 inch diameter pipe, we have 0 0.5 feet equivalent length. Multiply that by 3, we have 1.5 feet. And lastly, we have 2 gate valves. For gate valve and 1 inch diameter pipe, the equivalent length is 1 feet. Multiply that by 2, we have 2 feet. So for the total equivalent length for friction loss, we simply add the 3. So that is equal to 9.5 feet. For part B, determine the pressure drop from friction across a plumbing line containing 45 feet of 1 inch diameter type L copper pipe with fittings and valves noted above. Assume the system is carrying water at a volumetric flow rate of 20 gallons per minute. First, we need to compute for the total equivalent length of pipe, valves, and fittings. And that is equal to 45 feet, which is the length of the type L copper pipe, plus 9.5 feet, which is the equivalent length of valves and fittings for friction loss. Calculating, that is equal to 54.5 feet. Next, from figure 13.6, in our first example, we have known that at 20 gallons per minute, a 1 inch diameter pipe has a pressure drop of about 10 psi per 100 feet. Thus, to compute for the pressure drop, we simply multiply 10 psi per 100 feet by 54.5 feet, which is the total equivalent length of pipe, valves, and fittings. This unit will be cancel. Calculating the pressure drop is equal to 5.45 PSI loss or negative 5.45 PSI. For part C, determine the pressure available at the fixture outlet when water is flowing at 20 gallons per minute. Assume the pressure available at the water service is 45 PSI. The water meter has a pressure drop of 12 PSI when water is flowing at 20 gallons per minute. And the plumbing line serves a fixture outlet that is 16 feet above the water service line. To compute for the pressure available at the fixture outlet, we simply get the algebraic sum of the pressure available at the water surface and the total pressure drop. The total pressure drop is comprised of the static head, the friction head, and the pressure drop from the water meter. First, we need to solve for the total pressure drop. For static head, it is given by the formula negative 0.433 Z, wherein our Z is positive 16. Positive because the fixture outlet is higher than the water service line. Calculating that is equal to negative 6.93 PSI. For the friction head, it is already, it was already computed from part B, which is equal to negative 5.45 PSI. For the pressure drop through water meter, it is given in the problem as negative 12 PSI. So the total change or total pressure drop is simply the sum of the three, which is equal to negative 24.38 PSI. For the residual pressure available before fixture, that is the algebraic sum of 
the pressure available at the water surface, which is 45 psi, plus the total pressure drop, which is negative 24.38 psi. Calculating, that is equal to 20.62 psi, which is the pressure available at the fixture connection. 